Hello and welcome to yet another in our series of Forever Living Products special training webinars. Thanks so much for joining us. My name is Bill Lewis and I'll be your host today. Our training today is entitled How to Coach a Fit Challenge and we're pleased to have our Director of Marketing Ashley Hauer as our presenter. Many of you may realize that our FIT product and FIT uh, program is among the most popular in the world today of forever. Um, it is creating excitement all over the world and sales are booming in many, many countries because of these great products and this great program that's been designed by our marketing, pro by our marketing department, which is headed up by Ashley. And today you'll be excited to know that you can learn how to create even more excitement in your group by having a fit challenge. Now, before I turn the time back over to uh, Ashley, uh, if you have any questions, you'll notice that there's a space in your control panel where you can submit them. At the end of Ashley's presentation, time permitting, we'll address as many as possible. It's now my pleasure to turn uh, the microphone over to Ashley and to make her our presenter. So give me just one second here to get her unmuted and to give her control. Make. Okay, Ashley, are you there? Perfect. Thank you so much, Bill. Just give me one second and I will get my screen up. There we go. Hopefully you can see that now. I'm really excited to be here today to talk to you about coaching your own fit challenge. Many of you may have been running fit challenges already with customers or friends, and I know many of you have asked us about how you can do this um, with your group. So today we're going to share with you how you can get organized and run an effective challenge that people will want to be a part of. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first step is probably the most important and it is define your challenge. And what that means is what are you going to offer people? If people join your challenge, what does that mean? Um, what is your challenge and what isn't it? And really what people can expect from you. Having a clear vision of what you're offering to other people will help to keep you accountable and also help people to understand what they're going to get from you and really see the value in, ha in your program. So things like, are you going to be very structured? Are you going to do a weigh-in at the beginning of your challenge? Are you going to help people take their measurements in before and after pictures? Or are you um, going to run group exercises once a week or a couple of times a week? Are you just going to be more of a motivator, an observer, somebody who speaks to the people in your group regularly? Or maybe it's all of those things. Um, there's no right, wrong way to do a fit challenge, but making sure that you understand what your fit challenge is when you get started will help people to know what they're going to be expecting. So. It doesn't have to be complex, it doesn't have to be technical, but really just a clear explanation um, of, of what will be happening. So we're going to meet every Wednesday to do exercise, we're going to meet every Saturday to talk about lifestyle, and on Mondays we're going to do a potluck lunch together to make sure that we're all eating healthy. Um, it might be as simple as that. It might be that all you're going to do is get together with people and watch the exercise videos for the FIT program that have already been developed and are available on foreverfit15.com. Um, don't feel like it's a major commitment. Uh, you might just be doing Clean 9, which is obviously only nine days, or you might be running through the entire FIT program. Um, it's completely up to you, but it, think about what time commitment you have and what support people would really want from you um, and, and make a plan before moving forward. So the next part is once you kind of know what your challenge looks like is to go ahead and set an agenda. And an agenda will really help you specify exactly when you're meeting, what you're talking about, and the support that you'll provide. So it's really just an extension of what we talked about when you define your program. Once you know all the particulars about what you're offering people, I would encourage you to actually literally write it down. You can see kind of just a, a placeholder example here on the screen for you. Um, again, doesn't have to be technical, but I know when we ran a challenge at the home office, and I'll, I'll speak from my experience, we ran a 100-day challenge. We met once a week as a group 
and again obviously just meeting at the office so we weren't doing any exercise it was really helpful to me to know what we were talking about when so that I didn't have to rush into those meetings thinking what was I going to say this week oh gosh what did I say last week I hope it's different but really outlining all of the essential parts of the program and what needs to be shared when and making sure that you're communicating people to people that information when they need it again doesn't have to be hard most of the information should come from the booklets and all of the information is there for you uh, regardless of what your challenge looks like I would absolutely encourage you to make sure that education is part of it whether it's part of every meeting whether you do a once a week education meeting whether it's something you share on social media um, there's a lot of education built into the clean night and fit programs about limiting sodium building a better breakfast, the benefits of resistance training, why it's important to drink water for weight loss, sleep and weight loss, and so on and so forth. Now, those might seem like things that you already know, or of course everybody knows, but you'd be surprised by how many people, even, even here at the Home Office, where we're constantly talking about health and wellness, were really surprised to learn some of that information as we went through the FIT program. Um, they didn't recognize that sleep and stress can have effects on, on your program negatively, even if you're doing everything right. So education, in my opinion, is really the difference between a successful program and an unsuccessful program. Anybody can do a program that tells them exactly what to do, when to do it, but I think we've all had the experience or know someone who has that when that program is over, uh, so are the results because they got so used to following the program and following the routine, but they didn't understand why that program was important, why the calories they were eating were what they were and the breakdown of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins or why that type of exercise was important. So once they lose the guidance of the day-to-day -day plan, they lose the progress and in fact backs slide quite often so that education of why the program is structured the way that it is is critical to success on these programs and is something that should absolutely be included in your program. Um, the next step is an easy one so now that you've done all of the kind of planning and again it could take you five minutes to do that you don't need to put a tremendous amount of time into it I know everybody has busy schedules with work and with you know forever business whatever hobbies family um, it could just be a couple minutes but trust me when you're rushing into one of those meetings you'll be really grateful that you outlined what you were doing on that day just to give you a great jumping off point um, and to make sure that you're providing new fresh content to really meet the needs of your fit challenge participants so step two, get enthusiastic. Um, we all know that it's all about attitude and, and making your vision a reality is, is very important to really think about having a positive attitude. If you're going to run a fit challenge, people will be looking to you as a leader. And your attitude and follow through with the program are what you pro and what you promised, sorry, will be essential in its success. If you're excited, other people are going to be excited. If people see that you don't really seem like you're that into those meetings or you're complaining about exercise on your social media, they're not going to follow you as a leader. Of course, most of you probably know this, and it isn't just true of a fit challenge, but really anything to do with your forever business. So start to consider what things you're going to share from your personal experience if you're going through the program or have in the past um, to make your fit challenge a reality. Forever social media is full of a lot of great content. You don't need to recreate the wheel here. There's some fantastic positive motivational quotes, some fit imagery, some of our success stories from past fit challenges, um, shake videos, just a ton of content. Um, all of our fit athletes have been sharing a lot of really fabulous insight into their training and programs as well. So you don't need to reinvent the wheel, but just make sure that you're providing the right balance of exciting motivation that keep people wanting to come back to hear more. So the next step is another really important one, becoming a product expert. You might know this about your business, and I think most of you probably follow this pathway already, but being an expert in the product is what will give people trust and authentication in what you're saying. The products in the FIT program were specifically designed and selected to work together to support the success on these programs. 
but really understanding why is very important so that you can educate your group and make sure that they're compliant to the program to see the best results. So if you become a fit product expert before you get started, you can share your knowledge with others and answer any questions that may come up. Um, if you have not already, please get a new product brochure. We worked with um, an, our regulatory team to develop the new product brochure this year um, for the US and it has a lot of information about specific ingredients and benefits of products more than ever before and will give you a really great uh, way to differentiate products and, and explain to people what their benefit is. So I'm not going to go too in-depth, but I do want to give a quick explanation of the FIT products. And of course, we will start with the King Forever Aloe Vera Gel. So as you all know, aloe vera gel helps to cleanse the digestive system and really maximize nutrient absorption. This is important um, really with any healthy lifestyle because you want to get the maximum nutrients from your food um, as you are moving forward. So it would be really unfortunate to eat a bunch of healthy foods if you're not getting the maximum nutrients from those. Aloe vera gel helps with that that. Um, next up is Forever Light Ultra. Obviously in Clean 9 we use Forever Light Ultra as a meal replacement. Um, in FIT we use a meal replacement at times and at other times we use it as a post-workout recovery. It can be used for either. Um, Light Ultra has 17 grams of protein per serving. It is a rich source of vitamins and minerals and it is heart healthy. In fact, in the US, you will start to see a heart healthy claim appearing on those bags which will say that soy protein helps to reduce the risk of heart disease. We'll be able to say that right on our packaging. Um, and diets low in saturated fat and cholesterol that include 25 grams of soy protein a day may reduce the risk of heart disease. So one serving of Forever Light Ultra, again, is 17 grams of protein. If you have one shake, you're well on your way. Um, to that serving of 25 grams to reduce heart risk. Um, if you have two shakes, you're well above it. So it's a fantastic uh, benefit to that product as well. It is naturally flavored and has 100% of your recommended uh, daily requirements of 18 vitamins and minerals. Next up is Garcinia. Garcinia may help the body to burn fat more efficiently and help suppress the appetite by increasing serotonin levels. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar, the Garcinia Cambogia fruit can contains hydroxy citric acid, I can never say that one right, um, a compound which has been shown to temporarily inhibit the body's conversion of carbs into fats. So instead of storing fats, the body can then burn calories from the existing fat store. Studies have also suggested that Garcinia can help with appetite reduction and on top of the Garcinia we've also added chromium picolinate into Forever Garcinia Plus which if you are deficient in chromium picolinate can cause fatigue and excess fat production. Next up is Forever Therm, and many of you have probably heard me say this on a previous webinar, but the reason that we call this product Forever Therm is because it, it indicates thermogenesis in the body, which is the increasing of the body's temperature. And it's believed that when, the, when thermogenesis occurs and the body's temperature is higher, say during exercise, for example, um, more calories are burned. So um, Forever Therm offers a powerful combination of botanical extracts and vitamins that can help to support metabolism. Included in this product are green tea, guarana, natural caffeine, raspberry ketones, which will help boost energy levels and kickstart metabolism. And there's also some B vitamins in this product as well that will help the body metabolize carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. The final product that you see in the FIT program is Forever Fiber. Uh, fiber is important because it supports cardio function, digestive health, and weight management and immune function. Um, you get carbs from, or you get fiber from a lot of the um, foods in your diet already, but many people are found to be deficient. Um, and the five grams of fiber found in Forever Fiber is just about as much fiber as two pieces of whole toast. So um, the fiber is water soluble. It does dissolve in water and promotes feelings of fullness. So it's used as a snack and clean nine to help uh, curb cravings and hunger between meals. I love to use this in my shakes um, just for a little boost of fiber. Um, you can mix it in with RG and water as you need to and you can also use juiced with it if you need a little bit of flavor. Um, it's a fantastic product and one that is a very valuable part of the FIT program. Not in the FIT program, but additional products in the weight management space for Forever um, are Forever Lean, Forever Pro X2, and Forever Fast Break. 
Those can be used to accelerate the program if your group is looking for more information or really if they just see the product and have some question, you'll want to make sure that you know more information about those products as well. So lean is great for any of us who follow a healthy diet and we make the right choices, but once in a while we eat something maybe we wish that we hadn't. Um, Forever Lean can temporarily help to block absorption of some of the calories that we eat and um, includes Indian fig, which is a unique fiber high in antioxidants that binds to fats, and white kidney bean, which can inhibit the body's absorption of calories from sugar. Forever Pro X2 here in the middle, and there's an existing version out on the market. The image here is the new products that will be coming to market later this year. Um, is a delicious snack bar. It's available in chocolate and cinnamon, and will really help to provide a quick burst of protein, 15 grams of protein in this product from three types of protein and also two grams of fiber. Um, it's great as a snack on the go, post-workout for recovery, and the new sugar-free version again will be available later this year but the, the version on the market as well has a fantastic 15 grams of protein as well um, and, and will work great for you for a snack or again that on-the-go protein post-workout. Uh, Forever Fast Break is a fantastic meal replacement bar. It's delicious chocolate peanut butter flavor with 11 grams of protein full of vitamins and minerals and will really help to keep you full. More calories in that than in the Pro X2 bar because it really is designed to replace a meal as opposed to just be a snack. Again, that new version will be available on the market uh, later this year as well, but the fantastic existing formula is available right now um, in your markets as well. So again, just want to make sure that you recognize the importance of these products, what they can do, and how they can help people with their weight management goals as you're moving them through a fit challenge. Step four is to really learn the program. So how does the exercise in the FIT program work? How does the meals work? How do they progress? And what education is provided? Um, Clean 9 is much more straightforward, so today I'm really going to focus on F15, and I won't go too much in depth on this webinar. If you haven't yet, I recommend that you check out the Forever Fit webinar that we did post-rally uh, that highlights the new Fit program in depth and will give you a really deeper dive into the program, but I'm just going to give you a few high-level thoughts right now. F15 is really designed to help you tailor the experience to the participant. So there are three levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced, and each of those has two programs within them. So anyone can start at beginner and work their way up to advanced, or if you're working with somebody who's already pretty active, they can start at intermediate or advanced if they're very active and already you know, really know all the fundamentals of healthy lifestyle. You may choose your whole group to be on one program, and you might say, this is my Clean 9 program, or this is my F15 beginner program, but if you have a couple people or stragglers or somebody's spouse or friend that maybe want a, more of a challenge or they're a little bit more advanced but you don't want to discount them from your program, um, you can certainly choose to put people on multiple programs and make it more about accountability. You know, on Wednesdays we get together and work out. Most of the group might do this workout, but the rest of the group might do this workout. So really that accountability is key and you can choose to bring people into your Fit Challenge on multiple programs. When we ran the Fit Challenge internally, um, and, and it, it's possible that you may run into this in yours as well, we all started at the same place. So we all started at Clean 9 and then went into, at that point it was, it was F1, but into the beginner program. Um, and then we found that at the end of that program, there were some people that were ready to move on to a greater challenge, Well, there were others that felt like they weren't quite ready to move on and they repeated. And we were able to manage those two different programs congruently and provide the right information that each group needed because there really is a lot of fundamental overlap in the kind of information that you need to be successful in these programs. Again, the F15 program was really designed to be adaptable to meet the needs of the person completing it. Um, the two most important differentiations and things to understand are the exercise and the meals. So the exercise really builds on the fundamental knowledge of, of foundational movements. In the beginner program, movements like lunges and squats and really basic movements are introduced. In the beginner two program, those are built on a little bit to provide a little bit of a variation and again that education. In the intermediate program, we introduce resistance bands to those foundational exercises for more of a challenge and to help build lean muscle. We also introduce yoga workouts and um, some more advanced cardio. 
and then finally in the advanced option in the advanced program rather um, you're going to see weights you're going to see high intensity cardio um, still building on those foundational movements but instead of a squat you're going to see a variation on a squat that's much more difficult um, that's that's less foundational but still again builds on those foundational movements uh, the meal program is is similar in the way that it progresses. The meals are very basic and very easy to build and accomplish and something that you could make fast if you needed to, but really the important thing to understand about the meal is not just to see a recipe and make it, but to understand the composition of that recipe. The program was designed in such a way that people should begin to build a knowledge about healthy carbohydrates, healthy fats, the right balance of protein, making sure you're eating these things in each of your meals. Um, in the beginner and intermediate programs, there's a table in the back of the booklet that tells people if they want to build their own meal rather than following a recipe, they simply choose one thing from each table and it gives them an appropriate portion for men and for women of chicken, brown rice, uh, almonds, and fruit if they wanted to build a meal. And all of the options that are healthy that are in those categories are depicted there as well. On the right side of your screen, you can see as we get into the advanced program, we move away from recipes. The reason for that is because we feel like either anybody starting at the advanced program already has a handle on healthy eating. They're already really active. They're already probably really fit. Or if you work your way up to the advanced program, by the time you get here, you're probably not following recipes anymore anyway. The hope is that you've, again, learned that fundamental balance of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats that you need to be successful with your weight loss goals. So we introduce portioning in the advanced program where you can see you want a protein palm size, a cupped handful of carbohydrates, fist sized veggies, and fat the size of your thumb. This allows people with different body sizes to eat the portions that's correct to them and it's different for men and women as well. Um, it also goes on to speak about eating for your body type. Um, if you're somebody that carries weight a little bit differently, how to adjust those balances of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats to really get you to, to the right balance that you need. So again, you you don't need to be an expert. You don't need to know everything about you know, weight loss and, and fitness and, and meal prep and all of that, but understanding the program and the way that it was designed will help you as you're helping others and will help you to help them make adjustments. So if somebody says, I really want to do the program, but I can't do a push-up, well, you'll understand how that push-up is, is meant to factor into the program and there'll be other exercises that you'll see within the program that you could substitute. Um, don't need to be an expert, really important, but really do read those booklets and understand why the lifestyle information is provided, why the meals are set up the way that they are, and why the exercises is structured how they are as well. Again, for more information on the F15 program, please watch the F15 webinar um, from early May. It will give you more information specifically about some of that lifestyle information as well. So now that you're an expert, you know all the products, you know the program, you've laid out what you're doing, you've started your program, you really need to keep in touch. So be real, be you, share your experience, cultivate a network of support and that might be a Facebook group or that might just be something that you're sharing out from your Facebook page to all of your friends, you know, whether they're in your challenge or not. You might be surprised at who might want to join when they see what you're doing. Um, maybe it's not on social media, maybe it's something you're doing on email, maybe you're doing it all in person meetings or on a phone call. Again, that's completely up to you and something that you should consider before you get started, but really cultivating that network of support and openness is is vital to making a fit challenge successful. A lot of the times that we had meetings here at the home office, we opened up for questions or somebody would say, oh, I'll be really honest, it was my anniversary this week and I had cake. And, and but I got right on the program the next day and kept moving forward and I feel great and I didn't feel like I you know missed anything and I, I'm still motivated to move forward. It's real life and we all have days we don't feel like exercising or days where we have a meal maybe we shouldn't again. But if you had a bad day, share it. You know, if you ate something, you shouldn't share that too. Just because you're the leader doesn't mean that you have to be, you know, this pillar for everything that's exactly perfect in, in, in weight loss and in weight management. 
realistically, those programs look very different. And if people don't learn to use them in a real life situation, you know, when there is anniversaries and birthdays and celebrations and um, you know bad days and sick days and things like that, they won't learn to be successful beyond the program. So being transparent. It's not about being perfect. It's about being real. Um, again, I've been seeing some of our groups on social media or even on my personal page a lot of really quick testimonial videos. It doesn't have to be this perfect content. I see a lot of people do a quick video, you know, while they're sweaty at the gym or, you know, in their car or they share a meal with a picture and a recipe. And it's it's not necessarily about encouraging everybody to do it, but just showing that you're doing it will make other people want to share it and engage as well. Inspirational quotes, just real be real and and don't ever disappear. If you said that you're going to communicate with people three times a week, make sure that you hold yourself accountable to that. Because if you don't hold yourself accountable, other people won't hold themselves accountable, um, and, and it can all fall apart quite quickly. It's also important to adjust as you go. So at the beginning, you mapped out what the program would look like, and maybe it went perfectly and everything went exactly like you thought it would or maybe you found out that Wednesdays for an exercise group isn't actually working most people can't come or you know so and so can't get a babysitter well how about a Saturday you just because you set out to do it one way doesn't mean that you have to hold to that through the entire program and again the program may only be nine days depending on what you're taking on but it could be you know as many as 99 if you did everything, the whole FIT program all the way through, including Clean 9. Um, it's really up to you. But just be communicative. Share with people. Make sure that you hold yourself accountable and follow through for what you said you would do. And if you're not going to be, offer that up as an explanation and share what you'll be doing instead. So, hey guys, Wednesday exercises really haven't worked. We're going to move forward on Saturday and on Wednesdays I'm going to share healthy meal inspiration with you. It's okay and, and again, it's a process. It's not about being perfect. It's about being there and being present and being relevant to, to the real life struggles that everybody goes through. So, um, a few other suggestions that, that we've had here that you might not have thought of that, that could be incorporated um, as you're moving through. You might note that people are struggling, you know, maybe your coworkers are struggling to eat healthy if they're in your group. Bring a potluck lunch into work. Um, you know, the salad bar was something that we did here that was very effective. Somebody brought lettuce, somebody brought protein, somebody brought dressing, somebody brought different things. There's a lot of ways that you can encourage follow through, um, but the best way is really to be the best example from the top down. So as you near the end of your challenge, you may wonder what's next. Uh, maybe you just set out to do Clean 9 and it's coming to be the end of Clean 9 and you have some people that want to continue or you want to continue. Or maybe you get to the end of Clean 9 and you've already planned to continue, but you're trying to figure out the right way to move forward, put people on different programs. Um, again, FIT was really designed to help you help other people find what's right for them in their fitness journey. So you can go from Clean 9 to the beginner program, the intermediate program, the advanced program. Um, you can go from the beginner program to beginner 2 or to intermediate, or you might have somebody that wants to repeat the beginner program. I'll be really honest, I'm working my way through this program right now by myself, and I am on the intermediate program, but I repeated the beginner program twice. I did, I did the beginner one twice and I did the beginner two twice before I moved on to the intermediate program just to feel like I had really gotten the most value out of that program. I would learned all the things that I could and I felt strong and I felt like I had mastered the exercises. You don't want to get get your group to a point where they've you know just barely accomplished it, but you know they don't feel great. They don't feel like they understand before you move them onto something more difficult. Have them repeat the program until everybody feels like they have championed a program before moving forward. Now, if you have people at different fitness levels, again, this might mean that they're at different exercise levels, different program levels, you can easily tailor your program to allow for that because the healthy lifestyle information you're sharing is relevant, the recipes are still relevant, the inspiration is still relevant. It may just be that they're on a different exercise plan or they're having their shake at a different time of day. Understanding those subtle differences in the program will help you see how you can overcome those and really run an effective challenge and by extension, you know, potentially really help to build your business as well. 
Thank you all so much. And again, before you get started, check out the Forever Fit webinar to learn more about the program. Um, please stay connected with us on social media. And if you are running a challenge, we would love to hear about it, what's working, what's not working. We are certainly happy to provide you with any guidance that you may need. So thank you again. It's been a real pleasure to share this with you today. Great. Thank you so much, Ashley. We appreciate that uh, very clear-cut uh, explanation and easy to follow follow a recommendation on how to coach a fit challenge of our own. Uh, we've been able to answer all of our questions during the, um, during the presentation, Ashley, so I think that uh, we will call it uh, uh, time to close for today. We'd like to remind everybody that this webinar has been recorded and will be available for you to review next Monday on our Vimeo.com site. Because you attended today, you'll receive a special link via email to remind you. And a reminder, don't miss our next webinar in two weeks from today when we will provide a training on how to build a lasting forever business. In the meantime, we wish for you all the success you desire as you continue to build your forever business. Bye for now.